If I asked you, or if I told you, that you are going to die tomorrow, you are going to die tomorrow, and you are certain of that, let's say that this is true, you're a hundred percent sure tomorrow you're going to die, what will go through your mind? What will you be doing? What will you do? What will you think? For example, will I be thinking about all the prayers that I've missed? Will I be thinking about the zakat which I still owe? Will I be thinking about the debts which I have taken in halal or haram? Will I be thinking about the people who I have wronged? I must make, up, make it up to them. The people I have backbidden. The people I have hurt the people I've stolen from? Will I be thinking about my parents and what I have brought in shortcoming towards them? My wife and my husband and my children, my family, relationships, my neighbors. I will think about every shortcoming, the food that I ate, how many people I have known, young people, subhanAllah, that I have known who died and their last death was on a nutrition that was from haram. A life filled with a purpose. And if you were to ask them what kind of purpose this is, and they knew that they were going to die the next day, they will respond to you something like this. I cannot afford to die tomorrow. I can't face Allah yet. What kind of thinking would go through that person? Their whole life will change as if they are living in the hereafter. They're going to die tomorrow and meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're going to fix their a'mal, their deeds. And suddenly everything that used to mean or used to stress them out of this worldly life, people who hurt them, for example, people who wrong them, people who upset them, suddenly they don't mean anything anymore. Who cares about it? Right now I've got before me my own deeds and my own self to answer for. Who have I hurt? Who have I backbidden? Who have I upset? Who have I taken the right from? Who have I not given their right to? Where are the rights? I will be thinking about myself, Allah al -Azim. And that belief in the hereafter is what we need. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, and so finally, in truth comes death. The intoxications of death have truly come to you. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speak in that manner? Allah is saying to us as if it's something that is inevitable will happen to every single person. Because in another verse Allah calls it Yaqeen. Yaqeen means that which is certain. And no one in the world can deny the Yaqeen, that which is certain. No atheist, no Muslim, no Christian, no Jew, no nothing can deny it. Death is death and it will happen to everybody. So Allah says, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ And so the intoxications of death have come in truth. Man already knows that death will come. So Allah just tells you, well, it has. And so it came in truth. Now let me tell you as if you are there now. Allah doesn't bother telling you about your life before. He tells you now, let's talk about the end, the reality. This is what really matters. You can go on vacations, you can go on holidays, you can fly in the air, you can, you can go wherever you want. In the end, every single one of us, you and I, will inevitably come to the final meeting's place. What is it? Death. No one can deny it. We will all end up there. Just like every river comes from the same place and ends up in the same place.